Let's have a look at one of the massive network and system improvements in GrandMA 3 version 2.2. First of all, I would like to show you the network menu. So we go to the menu and say network. And here we get, as you all know, an overview of all the stations which are in our session or in our network. When we scroll to the right here, we can see a new column which shows us the neck count. The neck count is quite important if you want to identify some failures or errors in your network or system environment. You will see that consoles which have, for example, a connection issue, they will count up the necks in a regular time. So whenever you see here some neck count which is constantly above zero, you might want to check your network if there are some connection errors or errors with switches or the environment in general. You can see the total neck count over here as well. And with a two finger click or right click with the mouse, you can reset this count um, to zero again. So it will show up the next neck count whenever you fixed an issue, for example, or you tried to improve your network connection. Next to this, we will find some more tools in the station control. So here on the left hand side, we switch to the station control. And in the area of the session, there are some new tools you can use. For example, you can edit the value of DSCP. DSCP is a value that can prioritize some network and data packages in the network in general. So you can see the different data packages we are sending in our session and you can give them a specific DSCP value to prioritize. The most important thing is if you are not configuring some values of this in your rest of the network, please don't touch these values. This only makes sense if you really do a data package prioritization in your network and then you can adjust the values directly in here. The same story for another value you can change now is the TTL, the time to live value. This is a value which decides how long a data package should survive in the network. So how many hops, for example, routers, it can pass until the package is deleted. By default, this value is eight. And if you don't configure your network in a more advanced way, we would recommend to leave this value as it is, but you can adjust it if you need this in your network and system environment now. So the time to live value. Next to this, we can also find some MA session specific things, especially regarding the data merge. So the data merge, you remember when, for example, two consoles meet in the network again, and then you can decide which data you want to use. Therefore, you can now set a default mode. So whenever this pop up rises and you know the countdown is running down, you can change the default now what this session pop-up, this data merge pop-up should do for you. For example, you could set the default to cancel, you could set this to merge all the data, or you could set this to keep only master data. So you can change the default, what the pop-up will do for you. And additional to that, you can also adjust the timeout. So the timing which the pop-up needs to run down. By default, it's one minute, but you can adjust it to some seconds up to 14 days if you need it most probably you won't need the 14 days, to be honest. But you can decide the default, what this pop-up um, does for you, including the timeout and the timing of this pop-up. And additional to that, you will see that the data merge pop-up in general will give you a new option as well, which says keep my show file. So this is very important if you want to say on each and every single station that I want to use this show file. So you can decide now at each station that you want to keep this show file for your new created session. This of course gives you a lot more flexibility than it was before. So have a look at this one. And if we are talking about DMX signal and the data we want to use in our session, we can have a look at the connector configuration as well. So in the menu, in the connector configuration, we can find a massive improvement as well. Imagine you have some nodes in your session and you get the DMX universes to the nodes. Now you have per port a DMX failure mode. So what happens if this device 
for whatever reason, doesn't get the DMX signal anymore. So it doesn't get the MANET and we don't translate the MANET to DMX right at this device because it has a connection error or some errors which, um, yeah, which prevent the signal to arrive at this device. There is this failure mode and you have some options now here. You can go in and choose between a timeout. So you have 10, 20, 30 seconds or more. And then the DMX signal is cut off. Or you also have the hold option, which can be, of course, very important. So if this device doesn't get any DMX data, you can say, please go to the hold mode and hold the last DMX value, which was present at this port. And the great thing here is also that it's not only available for the nodes, but it is also available for processing units, for example, up to the consoles. So on each console port, you can also define this failure mode and give, for example, a DMX hold if necessary. So have a look at these network and session improvements. You will find a lot of more in the release notes and um, yeah, have a lot of fun with that. That's definitely a massive improvement in our whole Grand MA3 system area.